What's up guys, Zutros here. Today I'm gonna show you how to recreate some plants from Plant vs. Zombies 1 and 2 to Minecraft. So let's get started. So the first one, I'm thinking we take a dispenser, repeater, uh, let's throw this egg away, a redstone, some redstone dust, if you're playing in survival, and then... Yeah, any type of pressure plate. And also we need a block, okay? Any type of block, just make sure that they can go through, they, the redstone can pass through them. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, since the egg does not deal much damage, so I recommend, I think I want the egg to be the peas. So let's make the pea shooter. So how are we going to make this pea shooter? We place this like this. And since it's nearly automatic, but if you want, you can place as long as you want. So if I want, uh, just make sure maybe around 9 blocks or 10 blocks like this. Yep. And then the, the dispenser will shoot the, will shoot the egg at you. So you place this, 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 this. Keep placing redstone until over here. And then all the way over here, you place a repeater. And I recommend, I think, maybe three ticks and place a dispenser. Uh, I mean, a dispenser, not a dropper. This is a dropper. Alright. And all we need to do is just to fill this up. Yeah, boys. Now we that we have filled that up, then if you build, like, a ton of this, and then the zombies come, like... Brains. The egg will shoot at them. Oh, they would go behind. Okay. So that's the pea shooter. So I don't. I, I. I'm using a controller. I cannot type here. So. So this we call this the pea shooter. Okay. So now we want the snow pea. It is not really functional though. Let's just make the same design like this. Place this and then this, three ticks, and keep placing redstone. That is why you cannot build it like this. You have to build it like one block far so it doesn't activate all of it. Okay? Yep, like this. So now let's repeat it. Let's repeat. Let's repeat it. <laughs> okay, that was a terrible joke. I'm sorry. Okay, you know what? Just build like, I think two more of the, these, and then I'll tell you how the bullets work. Okay, here's a tip: you guys could use could use skulk sensors, but I think you should use redstone because skulk sensors are pretty annoying. Also, when you're just starting to walk, suddenly they will shoot at you. So I recommend you guys to use the, the, this one. Okay. So now, since we since we have this. Let's get rid of all these items. Okay. Now, so this is a pea shooter. Okay. So, I think... I think the... The snow pea... Would be snowballs. Okay. So, let's just pick a bunch of these guys. And we are nearly done. Okay. So we fill this second up with snowballs. Okay, and there you have it. The <laughs> the what is this called? It's the the, 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 the the snow pea shooter. But also if since it is a, actually a snow pea shooter, we cannot make the mob slow. So let's try I'll show you this idea. I don't know, it's just pretty stupid and smart so i think you place it like this and yes so let's see if this works no we got stuck in the cobweb so it doesn't work okay that's all right okay so that's a pea sh snow pea so now we are we want to make the fire pea shooter so the fire pea shooter is also easy. We only need fire charges. Just be careful though. Make sure your base is not made out of wood. Like this. 
Oh. Okay. <coughs> okay, that doesn't matter. Okie dokie. Now it's done. The fire pea shooter is this. Your aiming is not so good. You see? Your aiming suck. Okay, that's alright. <laughs> I'm just showing you how to recreate the plant vs. zombies. And also, later I want to show you a cooler way. Okay, so now this is the fire pea shooter. Now I want the simple one, which is a cactus. Cactus, I think. Since cactus is pretty deals a normal damage, but a lot of people call him the sniper, so we could use harming arrows. Okay? Now it's way much more gonna hurt than normal ones. Okay. So that's it for the blocks one. Uh, no, that's not it. Yet. Nearly it. So now, if you want a fire, if you want a torch wood, then you might want to take magma or soul, magma, soul sand, or netherrack. I'm just gonna use this, okay? And then magma also will come in handy later, but I'll show you guys first. So what we want to do now is make torch wood. You might be thinking, we already have fire pea shooter. We don't need the freaking torch wood. Well, I'll show you a, one of the coolest idea. Okay, I think you guys know what am I doing now. So let's place this so we know that this is torch wood. Okay. This is a cute little torch wood. You can set down the random tick sp speed to the zero and then place log on, on the fire. Uh, place fire on the log. Okay, but if you're just doing this in survival, no cheats, then you do that. Okay, so my idea was pretty simple. We just gotta build a box. Um, well, actually, this plant is called Gatling P, I think. Yep, it's definitely Gatling P. So, this Gatling P, I'm not sure if you guys know it, but it's a really rapid fire plant. Alright, after that, you build something like this, and then you go up here, so, now you want to crouch, and then place one snowman, then it will be a snow pea, two snowmen, then it will be a repeater, four snowmen, it would be, it would be a gathering pea, so, let's put four snowmen. And one of the most important thing, make sure to cover this up, otherwise, yeah, they would die through the rain. Okay? So there's four, four snow boys in here, and we are nearly done. Okay? So to give this a test, let's, let's give them one hostile mob. Hmm, what hostile mob should we give them? How about... Let's just go with a, yeah, skeleton. Don't go with a skeleton, because it's plant versus zombies. So let's go with a blaze. There. So that that's how it works. So the snow the snow golems will shoot this blaze, and then that that is why they are called the Gatling pea. But I want to show you the crazy Gatling pea. Okay, so the first step to make this fire gathering P is to make a block, uh, make a square like this with out of netherrack. Okay, yep. The fire, and then you need a soiled block that doesn't burn, and then come here and then place it like this. So place the top like this. And we are nearly done. So if you guys place the more snow golems, yeah, the more effective it would be. Okay? So now let's place this. Light all the fire blocks, light all the nether rack up. Yeah, boys. And then place snowmen, as many snowmen as possible inside this hole. Alright, as you can see here, there is a bunch of snow golems in here. 
so these guys will shoot fire and then the plants will definitely die so it would be very painful for the people that die okay so let's give it a test okay i found the perfect mob zombie file piglin now it's you see how they're fighting it yeah come on come on but since they're fire resistance this would be pretty useless Go snowmen! Go snowmen! Okay, so let's try with the mobs that doesn't have fire resistance. Yo, come on! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Burn the slime! Burn the slime! Burn the slime! Yo, look at, look at how they killed it. That's very nice. So now... I'm gonna make bong choy. If you don't know what's bong choy, bong choy is a kung fu master. So I'll show you how to make him. First, all you need is some fences, and then we need some iron blocks, and a pumpkin. Okay? You know I'm gonna make an iron golem, but I don't think you know how it actually works, okay? So we place this like this. I think it's plant versus undead, not zombies anymore, since I broke the game a little bit. But that's all right. So this guy deals a lot of damage, so I can't really say if he's bong choy. Oh my goodness. All right, and here is our bong choy. So how he works is, come on buddy, attack him, attack him. Can't you see him? Oh! Literally, he's over. Oh, he's passive. Oh. No, now he's gone mad. Oh, his AI was still reloading. So now he should be. Yes, that's my good boy. So that is Bong Choi. And now I want to show you how to make Spike Wheat. Spike weed is the most simple one because it doesn't require much material. So I'll show you guys how to how to make spike weed. So spike weed is actually just literally just magma. Okay? So this is already a spike weed. Except it's made from lava. Okay, so the zombies, I think I'll make that in another video. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you don't, just tell me in the comments, okay? I'll try to make I'll try to make it funny and better. Like right now, look at my plant versus zombies. They are very very ugly. So please everyone, it would help a lot if you just subscribe or like, okay? Thank you everyone. Goodbye. Peace.